it is happening again. What's up? My name is Greg, uh, or Indecisive Device, whichever you prefer. Uh, tonight, we're going to be streaming some stuff. Um, I, obviously, terrible way to open a show. Uh, I have a Patreon, and I've got some cool patrons on there, and we have voted about what we're going to draw tonight. And the theme was 90s X-Men. And the thing about that is, uh, on my poll, on my, my Patreon, it was a three-way tie. The tie was Wolverine, of course, Psylocke, and Jubilee. And so we're going to be drawing some stuff tonight. I've got my iPad Pro. Uh, hopefully got some, some friends in the chat. There's a chat. You can go ahead and click and write to me and stuff. Make me feel a little less... Uh, on the spot here um, but I got it up so it's easy for me to see and yeah so this is kind of the beginning of a regular weekly thing where on my patreon there's gonna be a um, a weekly poll like a fan art poll I'm gonna do fan art Fr fan art Fridays and and see what people want me to draw and then I want to turn that into a live stream so that will um, kind of be a regular thing we're doing this really bare bones right now i literally have my iMac and its camera and the mic that's built into it so hopefully it sounds good i see some people hey hi everybody hey jeremy hey jason hey steffi um yeah i'm just kind of hanging out right now letting people kind of roll in um yeah so x men you guys see a little chat going on cool i'm kind of this is a really rough test as well so we'll uh we'll kind of keep going through all right so 90s x-men what's that all about <laughs> the uh the patrons have, love the wolverine he's probably the most marketable guy um but i gotta say i was really excited to draw jubilee why uh, a lot of people not fans of jubilee like she kind of epitomized the kind of obnoxious stuff that uh was happening in the 90s the uh the mall rat girl uh as if oh my gosh you know type of thing but i don't know um when i was growing up i uh started reading x-men and it was one of the first books i really got into the cartoon kicked off of course and Jubilee was like the only one of the big main core group that was kind of my age. And so it was definitely um, my voice kind of going into it. Like, how would I react if I was a teen in this situation? That sort of thing. Um, and as the uh, the 90s X-Men kind of drew to a close, that, that, that initial offering of like X-Men Blue and X-Men Gold, uh, Jubilee joined, uh, what you call it? Uh, Generation X and uh, that was one of my favorite books so Generation X uh, done by Scott Lobdell and, and Chris Bocello and apparently I have to stop everyone saying they just see a frozen Greg and Jason I, I love you dearly but I know that you are in Japan and I have Twitch open all over my shoulder and it looks like I am still live can everybody hear me talking <laughs> I'm gonna stop my story according to the, these words over here okay Jason I think it's just you sorry bud I think you're on a train in Japan where are you going <laughs> we're just doing tech support now uh yeah all right we're gonna talk about stuff and things but i don't know what i'm doing i just sing so i apologize 
let's let's draw some stuff or or let's talk about what happened last week so last week uh was a when the the first uh fan art friday and the poll was what won the poll was reptar on ice reptar um not just reptar actually from rugrats the dinosaur like the godzilla like thing from rugrats but it was specifically rugrats on ice and so this is what happened last week. I'm going to switch over to my other camera here. So cool. <laughs> this is what my patrons got me to draw. Uh, this is Reptar. And I wanted to draw him um, like he's in a big, gross costume. Like you can see the zipper and everything. You can totally tell there's a guy in there ice skating. And I, I probably researched this princess character more than I should have. So her clothing is relatively accurate, which is weird. Um, so, yeah. Real quick, we'll just do a little, little uh, time lapse, which is pretty cool. I'm using an app called Procreate, which runs on my, my iPad Pro. And it does record every little line that you make, which is cool. So you can go up to your, your video area, hit time-lapse replay, and play back everything that happened. So I can go ahead and zoom in and rotate and do some stuff. A fast forward rewind. I spent probably entirely too much time on this. I should have streamed this last week. But I had so many weird things going on with uh, Procreate has this ability to stream from directly in the app to YouTube. And every time I would start a stream, I would choose YouTube extension. I'd name the stream, set it if it was private or public or whatever. And whenever I would hit go on it, it like created a future scheduled stream, but it didn't actually stream. So uh, that was fun. And I didn't know how to fix that actually was writing back and forth with Procreate and um, I must have stumped them because I don't know if the problem's in Procreate itself or uh, or not. So I uh, couldn't do that. Then I started using Mob Crush, which was kind of interesting. It like streams to various services for you. And that worked, except there was audio popping constantly. And that was really annoying. So I hate that and we're not gonna do that. So no more streaming from within Procreate until that extension gets fixed. So that's why we're here tonight on Twitch. I, I haven't streamed on Twitch in ages. And uh, maybe a, a little less than a year, maybe. <laughs> I think it was February when I did this again, uh, or previously. And uh, man, it's weird, you know? I'm sure everybody out there is totally fine with talking to nobody. Um, so I got to remember to look over in the chat and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. The other thing that I got to admit, I have no music, so I don't have any chill jams. And why is because I'll probably end up archiving this on YouTube. And YouTube is so crazy nuts about all the copyright strikes and weird stuff like that. So, uh, but I have a fix. I have a fix for your audio, okay? Here's my great plan. So you're at home, you're watching the stream, or maybe you're watching it replayed someplace else. Go and play your own music and just like turn it down a little bit. And then the soundtrack becomes whatever you want it to be, right? Crazy. So you can do that right now. You can play your own music and you can go, wow, Greg has really good taste in music. He knows exactly what I like, right? That'll work. So, no music, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be talking a lot and doing this. So cool. So that's what we did last week. This week, uh, again, uh, 90s X-Men is our, is our theme. And uh, since I had three winners, I don't know what to do during a tie. Maybe I just choose. Or maybe not. Maybe I flip a coin. I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a scene with the, the characters kind of together. Hmm. Excuse me. And uh, so you'll be able to see me draw from the initial sketch. I'm going to lay out the composition and 
mess around with the size of stuff. So it's going to look really sloppy and messy for a while. But if you're in for the long run, like I am, uh, we're going to be drawn here for a while. And uh, then from there, I'm going to lay down some inks and get the outlines done. And then we'll have some fun and finish up with some color. Depending on how late this gets, uh, we'll see how far we go. Or um, I got nothing better to do. That's what I'm here to do. And so my patrons, got to shout you guys out by name. Um, of course, Brandy could be boring podcast. Newest uh, patron, by the way. Uh, Brett, of course. I think you were the second. <laughs> uh, Dan, my buddy, I love you. Haven't seen you in ever. Uh, Donovan, Heidi, Hippie. Izzy, how's it going? Maybe you're watching. Of course, Jason, who's in Japan. He couldn't couldn't stay. I think he was on the train. Uh, Jeremy Owen, uh, he's a big friend of mine. He's been around forever. I think we've been uh, buds since 1999 or something. He did the music for the show open you just heard. And you'll be hearing that stuff uh, a little bit later on as well at the show end. So, hey, Jer. And uh, Jonah. Jonah, you're like my number one fan right now. You're like super quick to uh, comment and uh, you've been super supportive. You were the actually the first patron ever. So uh, I'll be doing a little uh, a little portrait. I'll do a little uh, like a profile pic or something. Just kind of a fun extra special thing. And uh, we got Russ from OG Days and Susie Q's. Uh, they they have a Patreon as well. Um, my friend Suzanne makes amazing jewelry and chain mail and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, Zach. Zach's another cool comic dude. And I haven't seen him in ever. Hopefully we fix that. But uh, hey, long list of patrons. Thanks for supporting. And um, Jeremy's saying hi and stuff. Hey again. All right, so let's go ahead and actually start drawing, and I'm going to stop talking. But we're going to talk about all kinds of weird X-Men stuff. I think um, when I think 90s X-Men, I immediately think of um, not not Reptar, that scene here. Um, but uh, the animated cartoon, I think, is what really indoctrinated a lot of people into comics. Um, it's where a lot of folks started. Whether they, they like comics or not, I think that was always just on the television constantly on like Fox Kids. And maybe the animation wasn't the best compared to like Batman uh, that was on at the same time. Uh, but I don't know. It was a pretty, pretty cool way to do overarching, connected stories. And um, and man, the voice acting was so freaking cool. Like the, the voice acting of that 90s animated cartoon like Wolverine and Sabretooth and all of those characters, whenever I read a comic, those are the voices I hear in my head. What about you guys in the chat? All two of you, what do you think? All right, so here's my idea. I am going to be doing, um, I'm doing a scene based on kind of one of my favorite things and X-Men. And it's not the big overarching stories and all the crazy world ending things and the f the fights and whatnot. It's honestly like I love the X-Men being just regular ass people, just being super normal. And uh whether they play softball or they're just like hanging out in the kitchen and talking and in, in plain clothes stuff. So I think because I had a three-way tie I'm going to do maybe two or more characters. But I'm going to create a little a little scene. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe like mid-90s clothing style type of stuff. You'll see what I mean here. So this is where I'm going to get head down and into my drawing. So in Procreate, it's got gobs of little drawing tools and such. Yeah, regular ass people. That's how long that delay is, by the way. Just when they're just they're not in their spandex and they're 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 yellow bright uniforms and you know chucking energy cards and shooting beams. They they're just being regular ass people, just kind of you know eating, playing games, stuff like that. That's what I mean by regular ass people. All right. 
All right, so yeah, I got gobs of tools here. I'm gonna choose my 6B pencil. And I don't think I will do black this time. I'll do like a, a blue color. And the blue comes from a weird old comic book thing where people use blue pencils to sketch with first and then <laughs> and uh and then uh when you when you, you can ink over it and when you photocopy it it removes the blue and you just see the finished lines but i like it because i like to sketch let's see if that's heavy enough to stay on there there we go i like to sketch and then it lets me know that my my inking is or my pencil is um, different than my inking. All right, so I want to draw Jubilee and Psylocke, and they're gonna be playing some PlayStation. That's my lofty goal. So I'm gonna get some, some Fs, S curves going on here and start to slowly build my scene and no Jeremy I didn't mean ask people that were regular I don't know what that would be but yeah I love that this this chat just hovers above my head ask people ask people I really wish I could just loop the the 90s X-Men theme song <laughs> just endlessly make sure that everybody watches so since my audience is some people that I, I know Jeremy if you're still there what is the most quoted X-Men line from the cartoon like when you think of the show like what immediately pops to mind <laughs> waiting for the delay it's like a whole lot of nothing right now huh Five people watching? Who's out there? <laughs> morph pops up. Why morph? He was such a odd character. He was really whiny too. I love, uh, my favorite line is covered in scorpions, covered in scorpions. And then like Wolverine freaking out. Oh, oh no, scorpions. Get him off me, scorpions. Ah! Like, why would he be afraid of scorpions? He freaking he's immune to poison. Maybe they're just icky. Okay, roughly, I have a person here. Cyclops' dad voice, right? All right, so this rough globby shape in the, the bottom here is going to be where Jubilee will be sitting. And... Down here will be our PlayStation down here somewhere. Got 
Got a little select tool up here. If I'm not liking where I'm placing things, I can select an item and kind of do a little, little lasso deal. Yeah, Morph was new for the show, and he just kind of kind of reminds me of of Murdoch from the A Team. Actually, he was just kind of there to change in his stuff and make a, a joke, and uh, and and die. Or does he die? see so the way i figure it it's just a random night at the x mansion jubilee's joined some some playstation maybe doing some some fighting game you know and then psylocke is going to kind of jump in and hang out and play as well and i i see jubilee kind of sitting kind of in like bad indian style kind of sloppy on the floor but you know Psylocke is going to sit like perfect, like Japanese style, like kind of upright. <laughs> very, very straight spine. I'm trying to see where I can fit them both in together though where this doesn't look so crunched up oh my god guys why am i doing this this is so ridiculous shrink this down a bit Super quiet. Should I regale you with my X Men theme song rendition? No. And since this is downtime. These characters are not going to be in their their costume, but in their kind of plain clothes, their everyday street clothes. Maybe it's a bit of a bummer. Expected me to draw some crazy superhero antics or something, but I kind of like this. And you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna switch them. Let's put Psylocke on the outside. Cut. Paste. Cut. Yeah, but Procreate is very, very Photoshoppy. So yeah, you can uh, select something. And in this case, I am using a three finger gesture to swipe downward and access my little cuppy, or like cut, cut my cuppy commands. My, I'm gonna cut Jubilee out of here and then swipe down and paste into a new layer so little little overlapping squares up here allow me to scooch my my layers around. So I'm gonna hide whatever the heck this TV is doing right here. 
and we're gonna move these guys around. So I'm gonna take Psylocke, let's put her kind of over here, select the other layer, let's move that around. That's a little better. I like their, their height differences better this way. Okay, so I move that stuff around. Now I'm gonna pinch with three fingers and squish these layers together. Or I'm gonna to try to squish. There we go. Cool. Oh boy. Yeah, I said, oh boy. So how would Psylocke play? <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy. I figure they're play, playing a, a fighting game and Psylocke has psychic abilities. Um, talking about these people, like everybody just knows who they are. I hope you do, um, which is really weird. Uh, but yeah, X-Men, people born with different powers and abilities and are per persecuted because of that. Um, and they hang out at a school called Xavier Institute to learn how to train their abilities to benefit all of kind, not just mankind or mutant kind, but all of kind. And uh, Jubilee is a younger teenage character. She has the ability to create fireworks, path, or like plasmoid type explosions, basically. And um, she's also sarcastic as hell and kind of bratty. And on the other hand, Psylocke has a very interesting backstory. Let's just say she's a psychic ninja um, who can form energy blades and all kinds of cool stuff. She can also read your mind and do telepathic and telekinetic -y type things. So, okay, these two people have powers and they're gonna engage in some video game playing. And uh, I assume they're playing a fighting game. Oh no, I'm probably just gonna make it like X-Men versus Street Fighter or something like that too. Um, but I imagine that Psylocke would never even need to really be good at a video game. She could just sit down and she's going to play by reading Jubilee's mind. So uh, we get to like see the cool little like butterfly effect on her, um, over her face, that kind of the comic conceit. I don't know if people can actually see that or if it's just something for our viewers, our eyes. Uh, whenever she uses her abilities, like these little butterfly type designs flow over her. Uh, so she's going to be sitting in her very proper, I believe it's pronounced Sizu, Sizu sitting, possibly. I have to look that up, make sure I'm not screwing that up. But it is a very um, proper way to sit for a uh, on your knees, a Japanese sitting, like a, like a geisha, I think a geisha sitting down, that sort of thing. Um, she'll be sitting very proper, ready to go. Here's the effects, here's the butterfly. Whatever that is, okay. Now Jubilee, you're so messy. I don't know what's going on, we're gonna lower the opacity of this layer. I'm gonna to start to draw a little bit more, Real, not realistically, just a little darker. Created a new layer. Make sure I'm on that new layer.
I don't know why it felt it was important to draw that ear just then. Still pretty sketchy right now. Pretty sketch. Not that kind of sketch. One thing I'm trying to get better at is just being more simple with my lines. I tend to overthink every single thing that I draw. Or maybe I go too detailed too quickly. start to look at this and see what is not working. Drawing digitally is pretty rad. I think everybody who's doing it these days um, knows what I'm talking about, but just being able to quickly jot down stuff and, and move it around and work pretty quickly or prototype things. Like right now, this looks really rough. I can go in and make this not suck as much. <laughs> sure. That was the hope. the elbow knocked out there. Stop talking. got four ambient viewers now. Who are you? What do you want from me? Good stuff? You're like looking at the top of my head all the time? It's great, right?
<laughs> there are four lights. There are four viewers. That's fine. I'm just, I had to, I guess here's the conceit. I have to draw this anyway for Fan Art Friday for my patrons. So you can hang out and watch me or just wake up tomorrow and see what's up. So I got to do this anyway. And hey, thanks for hanging out. The water bottle looks through me. All this is garbage. I'm losing the form of her. Jeremy, you own the chat. Just be nice. Not that you wouldn't. Hey, Jason, lung back. Jason's trying to watch, but he's, he's got a nice little view of uh, Mount Fuji he sent me, pretty cool. I need to get a triangular rest, so I'm not just staring down at my... Like this. This is not good. This is not good, Twitch. PlayStation is the thing the playing I think now with the traditional pose the feet you see the heel of the foot and it tucks around behind they face in and not out I guess that's traditional Sizu stance that's a perfect thing I need to ask Jason about. Dude, we're up to five whole people. Who are you? There's a chat. Just come and say something. Or just creep on me. All right.
This will start to look a little better, I promise. Get to see what's inside my mind <laughs> whenever I, I do stuff like like this. It always starts really scary rough. Like like this. This is vaguely human-y. Then I can start to flush it out as things go. <sighs> okay. Very rough kind of Psylocke type pose. She's very pleased with herself. <laughs> it's Mr. Bill. Ribs.
I mean, it's, it's more of a more of a dramatic slant on the head here. And sketchy. <laughs> she may. She is mad. Urgh. Gotta make her a little more hunched over. There we go. I'm going to go through several revisions. You can see I had my my blue. Now we're starting these. And then I'm going to refine some more. Oh, which is fun. I think generally Psylocke probably needs to get a little, a little bigger. Is there anybody out there?
Hey, three of you. Yeah, she's just a floating torso, which was my original intention, actually. Yep. Yeah. Man, I really miss those living room video game days, you know, when you'd be playing with your friends and do something to piss you off and you could just, just deck them. Yeah. I'm trying to get a pose where she looks like she's just about to get up off the ground and smack Psylocke. She wouldn't know. Wouldn't know from these scribbles. Anger hand. Ah. Have I decided what they're playing yet? Um, what do you think? We're talking PlayStation era. But these could easily just become N64 controllers or whatnot. The heck is this hand? Are they playing that god awful f fifth element shovelware game? Uh, wow, that was a bad game. I never got to play that game. Uh, but it was one player. I figured they would be probably fighting, like doing a fighting game that would exist in that world, which, you know, why not? We'll just say it's the home version of Children of the Atom, you know, something like that. I think the bigger question is, what type of hair is Jubilee going to have? I 
She had like the the prominent kind of shoulder length kind of pixie cut for a while. Um, and then when uh, Chris Pacello started doing Generation X, she had like a little little bob, little little bangs and stuff. I might do a combination of the two. Psylocke just needs long hair. Straight. Straight long. Psylocke hair. All right, Jubes, what is going on with your everything right now? this point I probably should emote and use myself as a mirror and figure out what the heck my hand acting is or to give some reference yeah I'm googling <laughs> I'm googling angry hands which is stupid don't ever do it Anger hands. Controller's broken. That's a good one. That's a good excuse. Kind of, kind of getting there. Maybe not like Superman. She's just kind of like, what the, what the, what, what the, what, why? This controller cord needs to be way more expressive. So even though it's a static image, I've got to at the best convey movement. And it can be done with hair, it can be done with um, with the props here. So she's just whipped that controller up into the air. And that cord, like she's frozen in this, this this stance here, so now the cord's gonna keep going beyond that. So if the port here, we got some shoulder buttons. Well, it's gonna kind of whip up something like that. Maybe, 
Let's be a little wider. For those of you tuning in, when it says draw 90s X-Men, what the heck is this on the screen, right? This ain't 90s X-Men. PlayStation. probably have like the system like flying up all right all right we're kind of getting there All right, I create a new layer. Right, yeah, it's time. So these are all my sketchy layers. I'm going to knock this down even lighter. And whew, we're gonna start maybe finalizing this a little bit. And one of my favorite brushes inside Procreate is a little inking brush called Dry Brush or dry ink, sorry. But dry ink, I swear, since the new update is totally different. I've set it back to factory settings and... Mm, reverted it. And it just doesn't look as good as it used to. Any Psylocke fans out there? Why can't she get a break? Why can't she have a movie or a TV show version that's good? Is this the brush I want to use? You blame Chris Claremont. I think it's funny, like, he's... Chris Claremont invented Psylocke. And when he left X-Men is when all the weird stuff started happening where um, she was killed by Sabretooth and resurrected with the Crimson Dawn and had the ability to meld into shadows and all kinds of crazy stuff and uh then i believe it was 2001 like right after the x-men movies came out they uh revamped all the costumes and changed up all the teams and they basically just threw everybody in black leather so that anybody watching the movies could latch on to that or something um and they had a, a book called extreme x-men and in the second issue of it, she, is, she shows up and she's like, I'm Psylocke, I'm going to kick your ass. And then some nobody, some dude named Vargas comes in and, and kills Psylocke, like, easily. And anyway, I think it was uh, Chris Claremont killed Psylocke because he did, just didn't like what she had become, I guess. An extreme X-Men, or even before that, with all the, the red Crimson Dawn tattoo, etc. And he was just gonna kill her. And then undo all of that stuff. 
But at the time, Marvel had a very strict, if you're going to kill somebody, they're dead. No, no more resurrections this time. Um, so Chris Claremont painted himself into a corner. I guess they killed Psylocke and whoops, whoops, can't bring her back. He was going to retcon all of her powers and like bring her back without the Crimson Dawn and the shadow stuff or who knows what. Um, whoops. But then when he left, they lifted that band and I think lots of dead people started coming back left and right. I stopped reading X stuff maybe in... 2012 or so whenever they had uh the kind of the cool x-force by jerome Pena and um the dude the brighton guy i can't think of his name um it'll come to me mm. and she was like dating uh phantom x and stuff like that that was pretty cool so obviously she came back somehow it happened Guys, I'm just totally not jiving on this right now. Give me strength. Bring me to life. I do like drawing ears, though. I don't know why. Well, at the time, Daredevil and X-Men were owned by Fox, so it works. But actually, um, Electra was... Electra. Uh, Psylocke was trained by the Hand, the same ninja organization that trained Electra as well or whatever it's a very loose connection We'll come back. We'll come back to that now. So you know what? I need to change the layer below this so that it is not so garishly dark. All right, so here's a cool trick. I'm going to hide my current layer. This is my sketchy sketch layer. I'm going to use two fingers from left to right across that. Puts a little checkerboard on that layer. I've now locked the pixels to that art layer. I'm going to choose a different color. Let's do something like red. So it's different enough. I can select that layer and fill it. So now it's all red. So now it's really different from the black lines that I was drawing. Knock down the opacity a bit. Turn this thing back on. Go back to color black. Still need to knock that down. There we go. All 
but is Jubilee still a vampire or did they free her from that awfulness? Um, I don't know. That was, that was kind of annoying too. Jubilee became a vampire. Um, but if you back up even more, there was the whole House of M thing where the Scarlet Witch created their own little pocket universe and said no more mutants and whatnot. Uh, so most of the mutant race was depowered and she was among them. My boy Chamber, totally straight up demutinized. Mm. And so to give her something to do, they... <laughs> They, uh, to give her some purpose, they uh, made her a vampire. I do like the all black jumpsuit with the yellow coat. So odd, but I love it. But I love it. So, Jer, you're going to be my roving reporter. Uh, Google that. Find out if Jubilee is still a vampire. Comment. In the chat. <laughs> but I don't want to. Spin this up a little bit over here. I gotta say, guys, just lately I draw and I'm like, what even? is my style anymore am i going for simplistic it's weird sauce Wikiing. Wiki wiki. I can't imagine Psylocke's Wikipedia. It's got to be so interesting. Biz biz. Got a text from Izzy. I'm immortalizing this text. Um, woo.
I think she needs a bigger smile. Be a long night. I started watching Punisher last night. I kind of held off on doing it because I know that next week, as soon as February starts, Netflix is just going to announce its cancelization, just like all the other shows. So it'll be the last one. Okay, Jeremy says, in Generation X, 86, early last year, she was thrown into the sun and killed. But quit and choir, most likely. Quit and choir traded his shard of the Phoenix Crystal to save her life, so she was literally rebooted, brought back to her natural state. Man, comics. So hold on, that means quit and choir is now... He, he got thrown into the sun if he switched places with her. I hated Quit and Choir. I wouldn't say hate. I very strongly disliked. What? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, back up. Jeremy, I thought you were talking about Psylocke. In Generation X, we're talking about Jubilee if she was a vampire. I'm so confused. So sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Psylocke was thrown into the sun. Copyright that. That's my comic. I'm going to write that. Okay, Jubilee. So she's back to herself. Yay. Jubes for Ratu. What is going on here? not see that elbow no no sir Generation X is on 86? That's weird. I thought that it... I thought Generation X was, it was brought back recently, but there's... God, there's no way it's... that high already, is it? Uh, 
Um. I tell you what, let me take a little break. This has been almost, oh, there's some music. Almost an hour and I'm barely even drawing stuff. But I get to use my fun, we'll be right back. Graphic, that is really goofy. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Covered in scorpions. Her arms are short. It's actually good that I got up because then I can look at this with fresh eyes. <laughs> there could only be four people watching. No more, no less. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. Oh, for those of you joining in, again, about an hour ago when I started the show, uh, when you're not looking at the top of my head as I'm hunched over drawing, uh, I have a Patreon where people, you know, kick some money my way, hopefully help me realize my dream of like doing art full time. Uh, but I had a poll about what I should draw on Friday. 
and it is a fan art type deal. And the theme of this week was X Men, and so there was a uh, a poll, and uh, I had a three way tie between Jubilee, Psylocke, and Wolverine. So I am drawing uh, Jubilee and Psylocke locked in a game of uh, Furious PlayStation fighting game action, and Psylocke is cheating because she is telepathic. So Jubilee's really pissed at her. And this is uh, going to be not them in their costumes, but kind of downtime. So I'm trying to bring their personalities to the forefront, and they're going to be wearing kind of everyday clothes, not ninja you know bathing suits and stuff jubilee kind of already is wearing you know daily clothing all the time she didn't really have a uniform other than the uh jubes Feratu black vampire jumpsuit so that's what i'm doing um psylocke is sitting nice and proper in a a classic believe Sizu position where you sit on your knees meanwhile Jubilee is flipping out over here all right so thanks for watching I mean, working digitally can help you make some quick changes and rethink stuff, but man, I am so indecisive, hence the name, where I it's hard for me to commit on any one line. I started doing uh, Inktober. Every October, I'd have to do a new ink drawing, and that finality, that, that permanence of using ink really helped kind of hone... Um, the lines that I was making and make them more distinct and purposeful. But, uh, but now, man, um, I can just undo with a tap. So I will draw and redraw and redraw the same area. They just look like weird potato people right now, right? That's kind of what I'm doing this for. I'm just trying to get over a lot of the weird things that have just been holding me back. You know, I'm not quite ready to stream. I'm not as practiced. I don't have crazy whiz-bang equipment, but you can't let stuff stop you, you know? I'm also, hey, I'm not the best artist in the world. 
Um, that can't stop you either, right? I mean, it shouldn't. All right. And I might just cut this short at the two hour mark. Man, it's already 11 o'clock and I have done almost nothing. So I'm not gonna have you keep watching. Maybe you want to, I don't know. There's a point where my computer is gonna fill up. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of her outfit going. Psylocke has this kind of neat, weird butterfly motif. Um, Whenever she uses her psychic ability, it always makes like a little butterfly shape near her eyes, near her face. So I thought I would kind of bring that into this little 90s-esque Delia's catalog type top. Let's see if this makes sense. Or is it just going to read as a as a heart? Or that looks horrible. <laughs> it looks like wings with balls. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do. I'll just make this little teardrop. There we go. Are you I'll come back to you? What's Angry Jubilee doing? Jubilee Blangries. Like how Jubilee always had little <laughs> big gaudy earrings that had her name on it. In case you forgot.
Jeremy, you're right. I didn't do nothing. I just uh, only got on stage in front of some friends and maybe some internet strangers and try to work through some of my issues. I'd say that's a step in the right direction. I think this little tableau is definitely way too ambitious for a stream or a two hour stream, I guess. Well, thanks. I'm kind of proud of myself in a little way, though. I can't. You know, I did it. It's also 17 degrees, if my watch is correct. It's like 20 degrees, and I'm in the basement. It's cold. I'm wearing like three layers. So I might cut it short because I'm cold. Wah. Oh my god. Speaking of 90s X-Men stuff, if you've been following any of the random comic news, uh, Rob Liefeld, creator of Deadpool and all pouchy heroes of the 90s, um, I guess created a new character named Major X, and he looks like Deadpool with a bucket on his head, which is cool. Which is kind of fun. I'm kind of there's, I'm glad there's kind of a mainstream return to that kind of pure 90s-ness, and... Um, Man, I started following Rob Liefeld. I gotta say, I, I do... I have some mad respect for him. Um, I would say through all of my formative years, all through high school and through college and to now, I feel like the poor guy, he was just the the go-to excuse for, oh, look at this bad artist. Look at the feet. Look at the ankles. Look at the pouches. And, and he didn't stop. He just keeps going. And in the face of... I don't know, being the butt of everybody's joke. Um, you can do a lot more than I've been able to lately. You know, uh, I sit and psych myself out of even doing anything because, oh, it might be bad. Um, but he is not letting anything get to him. And so I dig his attitude. I love the history. Uh, it reminds me of better times. So anyway, Rob Liefeld, I got mad respect. 
also that what was it a 1-800 that was a jeans ad it was like a bugle boys ad he was in a a comic superstar talking about his pants all right jubilee let's get some some shades She's always got to wear shades because she makes fireworks. It's not because it looks cool. It looks cool, though. But she's always shooting fireworks, so it's bright. If you think about it, I don't think I thought about it until just now. Nah, it's got to be back way farther. Where's she looking? you're not making faces while drawing you're not doing it right oh guys it's 1058 um let's wrap it up a little bit um I'll tell you what here is my, my shameless plug. I do have a store. I sell enamel pins and zines and comics and things as I create them. And uh, here are the links here. I just recently opened up Etsy. A lot of people are asking me, to, where's my Etsy? Where's my Etsy? So I got an Etsy. GregFreelandArt.Etsy.com or bigcartel.gregfreeland.com. I do have two different stores. Big Cartel I've had for a while. I kind of like their whole thing, their inventory management. It's good stuff. Um, but Etsy, everybody's on Etsy. It's a full-blown social media event of its own now. So, hey, go ahead and uh, look at some pins. Go check out some stuff. My 
Uh, Patreon plug has been there the whole time as well. And my patrons have been keeping me really close to creating um, a new enamel pin every single month. Just a little bit shy of that. So I have some, some dry spells. Well, I, I can't quite afford them monthly yet. But I've been doing at least four in a row. I'm in a little bit of a, a lull right now. But uh, we'll uh, probably next, like end of February, start getting seeing some more pins here too. Um, they are all kinds of pop culture stuff. I've got um, some MTV logos and nostalgia to be found there for sure. And uh, doing some original stuff, like my little alien ghost conspiracy. It's a cool little glow-in-the-dark alien. Uh, and the pin actually glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. So uh, check it out. And I guess, guys, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you for watching me kind of work through some stuff in my head and, and kind of practice this whole live streaming deal. Um, I mean, equipment isn't going to be the big defining thing of any type of stream but i am using my built-in mic hopefully it was audible i do tend to mutter and things as well so you know let me know drop me those of you who are watching probably know me so just just let me know what you're thinking and what you thought and stuff so i guess uh good night everybody wow.